and super fast drying army t-shirt and ultra light slipping bag and what if i tell you that not only whatever you take on your camino journey is useless and unnecessary but everything rest that you take with you you've been using wrongly so we are walking caminos all over the world and we have seen many people who can't use their gear for the simple reason often the gear is really technical and super specific and the journey you're just about to undertake is out of the ordinary so mistakes are bound to happen for example let's just look at this part of the hiking pole which you're gonna have with you this is not supposed to be used in the cities and i will tell you even more this often it's forbidden so let's look at the five different pieces of your day-to-day -day equipment that we've been using wrongly we because i was the pre fall as well Hiking poles are for seniors only. Bust it! Hiking poles are straightforward to use. Bust it! Any pole will do. A walking pole, a Nordic walking pole, or even the piece of a tree. Bust it! Hiking poles are necessary when climbing the hills, even if you're 25 and your level of stamina is high. But the hiking poles are paramount when going down as the knee surgeons are advising. The hills and mountains you encounter have uneven surfaces, so it's really easy to misjudge the distances and lose the balance. Ankle sprain, knee injury, and falls are the common problems that can occur. That's why it's so important to use the hiking poles and use them correctly. Hiking poles are designed for a specific terrain and the height. The height of the walking sticks for coming up would be different than for walking down and the placement of it would also be different when walking long distances on the flat terrain. The default height is 90 degrees of the forearm to the walking stick but when climbing make the pose a little bit shorter around 10 centimeters and when climbing down make it longer around 10 centimeters. This will help to have a better stability. Any pole will do. I use the tree pole, a branch on the Camino del Norte and it gave me this appearance of like a Moses or even some important guy walking with a big stick but to be honest it was super heavy and unpractical. It couldn't modify neither the how big is this, how small it is and mainly it was heavy. So if you're gonna go for something natural the hazel tree is the best for the walking sticks because it's simply nice and light. The Nordic walking are totally different discipline and then the walking sticks are totally different. Not even they are straight, even the end of them are really different. So stick with the normal hiking poles if you're gonna do Camino or any other hiking adventure. And the last but not least, hiking poles have two different ends and the one is used for the cities and the other one is used for the nature. Have a look. This one is probably going to fit absolutely everywhere and the sand, it's, it's going to be somewhere comfortable to use in, in between the rocks, in between the stones. When entering the big towns, the same sharp point will not only make lots of noise, but also can damage some of the pavement really easily. That all can be preventing or putting the rubber cap on the top of the hiking pole. If you're leaving the bigger cities in the morning and you don't want to make a noise because you shouldn't make a noise in the morning, just put this thing up. Once after, once you're going to go out of the uh, city, take it out, just simple as that, and use this part. And if you learned something new today, consider giving a like to this video and also subscribing for more really handy tips and hacks on Camino de Santiago. All the gear recommendations you can find in the description and many of them have a special price just for you. And if you want a packing list for your Camino or any other hiking, download this just from the description. And don't worry, you will thank us later. All the backpacks are the same. Bust it. More I take, better it is. Bust it. Let's just randomly put it on. Bust it. 
There is no one size fit all backpack, period. So how to choose one? When you buy a backpack, it should be fitted to your torso length and we all have a different length of it. When you're actually are trying it on, it already should have been packed with stuff. How otherwise you can see if it fits. If you're not doing the cross country backpacking and you're not taking with you tent, sleeping bag, sleeping pads, 35 liters should be more than enough. And if it's a winter, up till 40. Obviously you can take less. Camino Teller's rule is more space you have in your backpack, more things, unnecessary things you're gonna put inside. To understand how correct placement is important, we have to understand how the body works. There are axes of the body that keeps them in line. The heaviest things should be placed as close to the back as possible, where stick out of those axes will disbalance you and, and make you tired more easily. Let's just look for the moments together in this video and then see what misunderstanding you're actually seeing. And that's our happy couple and the first lifting back from the ground. Yeah, he's a gent, he will help her, but those turning the spine and bending them might be really bad, especially if the back is heavy. They're starting good, they're starting good with fasting the hip belt, but that's only the first part of putting the back correctly on, because the, then you have the shoulder strap, sternum strap, and then you have a load lifters. And comment down below which backpack you have and how big it is. Preparation to climb Mount Everest is the same as Camino de Santiago. Bust it! More technical clothes, better. Bust it! Let's just take all that I have in the wardrobe. Bust it! We are nearly in Santiago. We finally arrived. I can see it. Bruce, I can see Often we see people on the Camino and uh, we can all recognize is it still Camino or it's expedition to Mars. The latest gear, the top-notch technologies, people are gearing up like it would be climbing the Mount Everest or Kilimanjaro. It's okay if you're using these clothes on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you don't, you buy them only on the Camino and don't use them at home, you will simply feel uncomfortable. You will look for the moment to take it off and pull your nice and comfortable everyday clothes, which means that you're gonna have to take extra pair of clothes, which you're gonna provide you extra weight to carry with you. Start with finding in your wardrobe clothes that you, you can use actually on the Camino. Start with the sport clothes that you already have. Remember the spirit of the Camino, the spirit of renunciation, humbleness, and these, the clothes and taking care of the clothes should be your last worry when walking the Camino de Santiago. Invest in your shoes, that's the paramount. In the correct backpack, which also can save you a lots, of, a lots of problems, but take clothes that you will multi-use and serve for many different occasions. The balance has to be kept. And if you take the best purse of your levis, probably after two days, you will send it back home. I need my GPS. I need my GPS. Bust it. The app is a must. Bust it. Let, let me take maps and compass. Bust it. Many hikes needs navigation. But Camino de Santiago is not the hike. To find your way on the Camino, you need your eyes wide open and to find an arrow, shell and the sign. And believe us, they are placed in so many places that if you lose your way, you will be ashamed to tell it to anybody. That's how easy it is. Books and apps are useful to get some extra info about the stages, accommodations and services, but not for the directions. You will need them if you go for the less travel routes, if for the different Caminos, smaller Caminos, when the infrastructure and signs are still under the contraction. But remember, for years, the Milky Way was the only one way to find the way to Santiago. 
without any apps, without any GPS, just following the stars. And there is one item without which Camino de Santiago and its transformational aspect wouldn't be as possible. The journey within Camino de Santiago journal, number one journal for the Camino de Santiago. After many years of walking, we observed something really interesting. There are many stages on the Camino de Santiago that sometimes require explanation or sometimes need to be enhanced like meseta like the first day like arriving to santiago like finishing and integrating the part of camino into your new you this has a daily devotions this one's for example the self-care explains you how to integrate this aspect into your day-to-day -day life and take care of yourself in many different levels on the side you will find a way to write it down you can use it before the camino de santiago in your prep preparation and that means intention settings or working about your expectations as well during camino with the subjects like effort loneliness or trust many pilgrims love it and hopefully you're gonna love it too you can find it in any library all over the world and you can even have it delivered to your home your best camino friend and the shoes hiking boots are the must bust it gore-tex is a new gold bust it let the shoe fit perfectly to my foot Bust it. Watch this video to understand the common misunderstanding of everybody about Camino shoes.